On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to enhance your tracks using automation. So, The Sequence. So the biggest question I get is, how do you turn on the automation? Believe it or not, that is true. Very simple answer. You see this right here? That is your automation. Let's press on the touch screen and now it is on. The other thing I wanna show you is if you hit the eyeball sign on the screen, uh, you can also turn on automation per track. So that way you can avoid doing anything crazy to your other tracks that you have. So uh, in this instance, it's on the bass track. The next biggest question is how do you use automation? How do you record it? Trust me, it does happen in my comments. Well, I have a pretty funky bass line in this lo-fi house beat. And I wanna automate maybe the plugin. So on the MPC one or the X, you would hit the program edit button on the MPC live, you would press and hold menu, go to program edit. And now we have access to different parameters that we can automate. Okay, so let's decide which parameters that we want to automate. So before we even activate automation over here at the top right of your touch screen, let's play with some. So I like drive and I'm on the second Q link here. So just keep in mind. So what I'm gonna do is make this a little longer. Let's make this groove a little longer. I'm gonna go back in the main, double length. And now we got eight bars to play with. Let's go back in here and now let's uh, go ahead and record some automation. So I will turn on automation. You don't have to record or overdub either if you use this automation, by the way. see it increase so I'll show it one more time and that's the automation all right so now the main thing you need to do after you're done with your automation is turn it off so that way you don't mess with any parameters and nothing gets recorded but now you have successfully automated your first parameter. The next thing you could do is go over here to this screen and you can see all of the automation on the screen here. So we have the micro, you see PRG program micro. So if you wanna clear that out, you just press shift and clear. And let's uh, hear it back now. Let's go into the program. And you can basically see that it's not automated anymore. So let's just turn it down. Back to its normal state. And by all means, you could do as much automation to whatever that you want and then adjust it within the main screen and here, which is automation. Again, shift clear to clear your automation you can undo and bring it back in so you can see it again just in case you mess up say that you want to automate one of the akai mpc effects well let me show you how so i have these keys here and as you can see there's nothing going on right now or as you can hear and what i need to do is add a filter. I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter. So go into your EQ and filter section. And let's grab a low pass filter and let's engage it. All right, so 
let's try to automate that. How would I do that? So it's a pretty simple process. I will just activate it on the track. So let's go ahead and write an automation on this track here. Go back into your effects. Select that effect that you want to automate and play start. And do the automation. And voila, you have that automated. And then make sure you turn it off after you're done automating that effect or the effects you like. You also have access to that. So you have low pass filter right there and then you can do any further adjustments. Like maybe you want it up here. You can adjust the time intervals to get it more to your liking. You can also make it faster and slower. What if you want to dive deeper and add some glitchiness to one of your melodics in your track? Well, let's do that. Now I have a trap track lined up here. And I want to take that melody and make it into something a little richer in effects. So let's press shift and grid. And now you're met with the MIDI event right here. The next thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and exit out of the grid mode right now. Press this eyeball sign right there. And then make sure that you're on the track and press insert. So we're going to go and look for an effect that's pretty cool. Let's go into harmonics and then grab the XY effects. So what I'm going to do here is a little bit more complex than normal. Uh, what I want is isn't beat repeater, but I want to do some tape stop. So let's go ahead and grab the tape stop right here in the XY effects and then go ahead and exit out or or just press shift and grid to go back into your grid. So now when you go into your grid, you can go and select velocity and then dive into this menu. You'll see that you'll say velocity and it'll say add new. So we'll go to add new go to program do5 and then insert an xy effect you can do either dry or wet or enable attack release uh, x or y so i'm going to do enable disable and then uh, one other thing that i want to show you is that you can do time correct you can turn it off so you can draw more freely but it'll be a little bit harder to to deal with so program xy effects enable draw something in there and now we have some automation if you don't like that automation you can always undo uh let me see I'm, i need to redo now Boop. all right redo now what we're going to do is just draw some stuff in now keep in mind it doesn't have to be this elaborate let's go ahead and hear it So we hear that and we're pretty good with that, right? So we like to tape stop in the middle of that track. Let's go ahead and hear it in the track so far. So unsolo. And you can continue to add effects as you want. Like you might want to add, I don't know, maybe lo-fi or whatever your heart's content is. You might want to add granular. Let's go ahead and grab another XY effect. This time we're going to grab a beat repeater and have it repeat in certain increments so i can enable on and off but this time let's go into the grid grab it add new program go into a parameter let's go not in the semitones here let's go uh, insert two and enable boom now i'm going to go ahead and add tc because adding tc will 
allow me to draw stuff. So I kind of like this right here. But I'm going to go ahead and just go back a little bit and uh, add new. Go into param uh, parameters, insert two, enable, and let's go into TC again because I, I want to make this as accurate as possible. Shout out to Accurate Beats. And uh, let's just continue to add weirdness to it. You see, it's not really hard to do. And now you have some glitchiness. Now I could take this a step further here. And when I add another effect, let's go into main. Let's grab another effect. I saw it in here. It was pretty cool. So one of the new plugins from Akai. So let's go to modulation and let's add half speed. Now we have half speed in there. We can do Let's play, let's hear it. All right, so let's go ahead and add that into that grid. So just like the others, let's go and add new program. And then you'll see insert three. And I can turn it on and off. I think uh, the on and off button will work for me. So, so let's add the automation as we go. And there you go. And if you're wondering, by the way, uh, if you can affect the other parts of this track, yes, you can. You just have to go into your search right here, this search icon, and then uh, go and drag. And you can also make it bigger and smaller too on the screen too. So you can use pull and pitch. So here's a dope way to automate your tracks. If you're into arranging your tracks using the track mute method, which I show you in many different videos, but I have them linked in the description box you can actually add your automation on top of your track mutes and get a very extravagant track. Let me show you. So a simple way of explaining what I was just talking about was just this right here. Uh, what I usually do is I hit this pencil sign and then I will copy the sequence. And then in the second sequence that I'm importing the first sequence into, I'll just name it full beat. Do it, do it. And then now we have a full beat sequence and then I will just double the length until I got about 64 bars. I have 64 bars there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a man at this, a beast. But anyways, uh, and then I will just go into my track mutes, which you don't need automation on at all to do this. Uh, I will overdub and play start. And I will continue in a second when I'm done. Now that we have the beat laid out, uh, say that maybe you don't like to automate on the grid or you just got past that part and you just, you've already laid out your beat via track mutes and you just want to add some stuff in there. Uh, let's go ahead and add for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, the half speed plugin. So let me go ahead and grab that plugin in modulation, half speed. And now you see the start and start. Now we have that in there. Uh, what we can do is turn on the automation and then you can do whatever automation you like right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see if it recorded in. And as you can see, it worked. 
There's only one thing that I wish in terms of automation that you could do, and that is use the X, Y effects in automation. And right now you cannot, perhaps in a future update, Akai will add that into the automation list or things of, that you can do in automation. It will be great. Let me know how you feel in the comments. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. And don't forget to check out my description just in case you need any more tips on the Kai MPC Live X01 or leave a comment on what you would like to see next.